Hello fellow vintage Ray-Ban lovers out there, hope you're well and welcome to another video. It's really, really special, ladies and gentlemen. This is a special, special moment. I cannot overemphasize what I'm about to show you in terms of quality, in terms of prestige, in terms of being the number one. Arguably being the number one. In terms of technology, it is certainly kings amongst men. Even kings or gods amongst kings. This is how serious these sunglasses that I'm about to show you are in terms of hierarchy when it comes to vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. A lot of people out there will understand what I'm talking about, will be able to empathise what I'm talking about, will be able to relate about the quality of these sunglasses. But there are going to be many of you out there who simply are watching this video and are thinking, okay, it's a pair of sunglasses. But with everything in life when it comes to material things, the world, us human beings, us individuals, we all love material things. And I don't care who you are. We all love material things. And if we could afford the best, we would always buy it, no matter what. That is why these companies out there try to give you the best quality that they have at their disposal. So that they, as a company, manufacturing whatever they are producing, can call themselves number one. And when it comes to vintage Ray-Ban or vintage lenses, sunglass lens technology, there's only one. Today I'm going to show you a pair of sunglasses that not only equals the best lens, in my opinion, out there, it surpasses it. I don't want you ladies and gentlemen to underestimate what I'm about to show you. Please don't. Because if you do, you will lose out. And when you lose out, you simply lose. The difference between a successful individual and an unsuccessful individual is one thing ladies and gentlemen. Opportunity. You've got to take the opportunity to become successful. That's the only thing in this world that differs between somebody who is living an ordinary life compared to somebody who is living a little bit more of an ordinary life. Okay? The difference between being rich and being poor is opportunity. And taking the opportunity when it comes along. And I'm talking about opportunity because after I've spoken to you about these sunglasses, I am going to make them available for you to purchase. It doesn't come along that often. It doesn't. Go ahead, try and look for these sunglasses. I, I dare you, I dare you to go ahead and look for these sunglasses somewhere else. But before you do, listen to what I've got to say. Listen about its quality. Listen about its condition. Listen about its price. And then once you've got all of that information to hand, please go ahead and have a look. 
I bet your bottom dollar you'll be coming back to me because you can't find it. And this is why this video is so, so special. But without further ado, let me stop jabbering on. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's start talking about these RB50 Ultras. So, let's start off with probably one of the most sought after sunglasses there are vintage Ray-Bans on the market. In front of you we have what everybody knows as the General. This is a model that was released in 1987 to commemorate 50 years of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. Okay? Now, the General consists of the R B50 lens. It is one of the ultimate polarizing changeable lenses. This ladies and gentlemen is probably in the top three of most collectors when it comes to buying and purchasing and collecting vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. Three, top three, arguably more than likely 90% maybe going on to 95%. Simply because of number one, the importance, the celebratory importance. Number two, it's really about the lenses and how good of lenses these are in terms of technology. The RB50 is the most technically progressive lens in the Ray-Ban range, combining light and temperature sensitivity, contrast enhancement, true color transmission, and advanced titanium and magnesium surface coatings. These features provide a uniquely versatile sunglass, equally suitable for general leisure wear, and for the toughest glare conditions encountered at sea and at high altitude. The RB50 lens absorbs 80% of visible light for comfortable general wear. The lens darkens to provide up to 90% light absorption, ideal for the beach and water sports. And then light absorption increases still further to 95%, making it ideal for snow sports. The RB50 lens, ladies and gentlemen, is one hell of a lens. And it's very difficult, very, very difficult to try and find another lens that beats it. However, there is one. There is one lens that beats this. There is one. And that one. I'm going to show you now. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the RB50 Ultra. So, before we get into the actual lens discussion, let me talk to you about um, what these sunglasses 
are made up of. So these sunglasses that you see in front of you are actually called bravura or bravara, however you want to say it, okay? Um, bravura, so there's bravura and there's bravura too. Essentially, like everything else, large metal, large metal two, outdoorsman, outdoorsman two, it basically relates to the size. So the bravura is a 58 millimeter version and the bravura two is a 62 millimeter version. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Bravura 2. The Bravura frame consists of the following. A deep groove frame, which essentially means that the eye wire groove is much deeper than a, uh, a standard frame. Okay? It also consists of the thicker or wider temples which you would generally see on the general which you would generally see on an RX prescription frame it basically allows it to be a little bit more comfortable on the face in terms of giving a little bit more weight you also get a sweat bar across the brow bar which is in Tortuga colour. At the end of the temple is the paddle, which is also in a um, Tortuga colourway. The nose pads. The nose pads are stamped BL. So, the first thing that I noticed, ladies and gentlemen, when I received these sunglasses, is its weight. It's a heavy pair of sunglasses. Not over heavy, not something where I cannot handle the weight on my face, but it's more of a quality weight, a quality heaviness. It gives me the essence, that impression of pure quality. It really, really does. In comparison to a standard large metal two or a standard outdoorsman two. It's a really, really nice, weighty pair of sunglasses. So, let's now talk about the one and only thing, the thing that makes these sunglasses the number one. And of course, it's all about the lenses, the RB50 Ultra lenses. The RB50 Ultra polarizing lens achieves 99.97% polarizing efficiency. Let's take a step back. 99.97% point nine seven percent you might as well call it a hundred percent you might as well call that a hundred percent it's that good let's compare that to the general okay which gives ninety five percent we're basically adding an extra four point nine seven percent on top of what is known or what is arguably seen as one of the best lenses that, that Ray-Ban ever um, released. 99.97%. So in effect, total protection and ideal for yachting, fishing or situations where intense reflected glare is a problem. The key features that make the RB50 such a versatile lens have been retained in the Ultra to deliver truly outstanding performance in all light and weather conditions. The RB50 Ultra has been engineered to provide consistent performance and lasting durability. The breakthrough polarizing element is encased the breakthrough polarizing element is encased between two 
perfectly matched glass lenses and then finished with a special edge sealant. This overcomes the problem of delamination so prevalent in other polarised lenses. So that's why these sunglasses are so heavy because you've actually got two lenses in one. It is the most advanced polarised lens available in the vintage Ray-Ban collection. The most advanced ladies and gentlemen. It's all about demand and supply. If the demand is high and the supply is low, it makes that product much more desirable. And the desirability factor is everything about these sunglasses. Now, I'm not saying that these sunglasses cannot be found, because they can. There's not many. Don't make the mistake of thinking there's a lot. Now, the general, the general, there's a lot of those sunglasses. You can pick one of those up pretty much every single day of the week. There's many, many, many models that were released of the general. However, when it comes to the RB50 Ultra, there's not that many about. There's a few, but not that many. However, the one thing that makes the ones that I'm wearing extra, extra special is the condition. The condition of these sunglasses, ladies and gentlemen, are virtually pristine are virtually mint condition. There's a number of issues that can happen with the RB50 Ultra. In particular, when it is exposed to certain conditions. For some reason, what has been found over the years with these RB50 Ultras is that they do not like humidity and when they become humid you will find that the sunglass unfortunately starts to disintegrate particularly in the lenses they start to bubble so what happens is and I'll show you a picture you get a really poor pair of sunglasses in terms of its functionality, in terms of its aesthetic beauty. And the reason why it does that is simply because of the humidity. It does not like the moisture mixed in with the heat. It doesn't like it. So what you're finding is, is that you find some RB50 Ultras. But the problem you get is that it is in very, very poor condition. And the funny thing is, people still sell them at very high prices. Even with the poor lenses. Which baffles me. I don't understand why, but people still buy them. Just to say that they have got an RB50 Ultra in their collection. So the polarising element, which is in between the two perfectly formed identical glass lenses, starts to bubble. And, start and becomes defective. Essentially you cannot use them. The solution to trying to ensure that these RB50 Ultras survive a humid climate. The only thing that has worked, the only thing that where there is evidence of it working is using silica gel. Okay, 
So basically these little bags, okay, silica gel. These are basically drying agents. You find them in when you purchase a brand new pair of sneakers. You'll generally find uh, the silica gel bags in them, okay? And as I said, it's basically a drying agent. It sucks all of that moisture away from a particular product, all right? You need to have those with the sunglasses if you're in a humid climate because if you don't you will find that these sunglasses will eventually deteriorate all right so you can find these on ebay just put in silica gel i'm sure you can find them anywhere else they're pretty cheap They'll come in a big bag, so you'll get probably 50 or 100. They won't come separately. You'll get quite a lot of them. But these will do the job in terms of sucking out all of that moisture away from the sunglasses. So here is the original compatible case that comes with these pair of Bravura 2 RB50 Ultra sunglasses. It is the thick black cowhide. Let me open it up for you. Okay, that's what it looks like inside. Let me show you how thick that cowhide is. Really, really thick. It also comes with this badge, Ray-Ban Bush and Lum, in gold and black. Okay, that's the rear, so no slit for your belt. It is completely clear. Okay, this is a beautiful sunglasses case. It's thick as hell, properly thick. So if you have a general okay which also comes with the cowhide case you automatically know how wonderful these cases are on its own this case goes for a lot of money so we have now gone through the whole discussion of these sunglasses the Bravura 2 RB50 Ultras earlier on I did mention that I will be offering these sunglasses uh, to be bought by one of you lovely people out there, okay? Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not familiar with vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses, okay? What I have and what I'm wearing, in my mind and in a lot of other people's minds who are very familiar, in collective vintage Ray-Bans. These are the number one. And I'm gonna make these sunglasses available for all, for hopefully for all, because I'm going to make it affordable. I'm not talking about price, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about affordability. So, any dealers out there, and bear in mind I'm a dealer, I'm a seller myself. Any dealer out there, any seller out there, anybody who thinks they're going to purchase these sunglasses and make a profit by flipping it, please, you are wholly mistaken. It's not going to happen because I'm not going to make these available at a cheap price. I am making these available at market value, but I'm making them affordable. Are you confused? Okay, let me tell you, okay? I'm not gonna tell you the price of these sunglasses. You need to head over to blrayband.uk to find out how much these sunglasses are going to cost. But what I am going to do, for those who cannot afford to lay out that kind of money in one fell swoop, I'm going to make it affordable by having and allowing you to be able to pay over a certain amount of time. 
That's the affordability factor. So instead of you having to find, let's say I put it up for a thousand pounds, okay? I've just plucked a number out of the air. It's not a thousand pounds, but it's just easier for maths, all right? Let's say I put these up for a thousand pounds. Instead of you trying to find a thousand pounds, I am going to allow you to split that thousand pounds into two equal payments. So one month you pay 500, the next month you pay 500, and then I send them to you. That is how we make these sunglasses affordable for all. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, this is a collector's piece. This is a pair of sunglasses that must be in a vintage Ray-Ban collection. There's no two ways about it. There are many, many models out there for you to fight over, okay? For you to collect, for you to, to own, to appreciate, to wear. But there's not many models that I generally say that it needs to be in your collection. If you are a serious vintage Ray-Ban collector, then look no further. If you get these sunglasses, okay, you will be the envy of everybody. Because there's not many around in this condition. The RB50 Ultra. A fantastic, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic, glorious pair of sunglasses. If you can find another superlative attaching to these. So, I hope you liked the video. Please like, please comment, please share. But most of all, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.